Tipperary farmer and contractor Robert O'Shea was a victim of rural crime in recent years and has since become an advocate for rural crime prevention. He spoke to Agriland about his experiences. In August 14, my mother died and she was buried on the Thursday. On the following Saturday night and Sunday night, one night after the other, I was hit here in the yard. On Saturday night they came and they took diesel from the pumps here and from the tanks that are in at the back of the pumps there. They took batteries out of some of the machines and took the power tools out of the workshop. Came back on Sunday night and literally cleaned the place out. Spanners, ch tow chains, all the rest of the batteries, batteries out of electric forklift out of electric cherry picker that was in the yard, completely cleaned the place out. We estimate somewhere 20, 25,000 euros worth of stuff taken in that, okay, those two locations. After that, we um, just to, in this area now we highlighted the situation because there was a number of crimes going on in this area and it has culminated. Well, I won't say culminated, but it peaked with a meeting in the Anna Hotel on, in October 15 and we had over 2,000 people there. It was actually, we just looked at it as being a tool for people to vent their anger at rural crime and what was going on. Now, since then, the committee of which I'm the chairman, Save Our Local Community, is still meeting. We're having a meeting actually tonight. And we have in the interim, we've met with the minister on two occasions, on two separate occasions, and we met with the uh, Fianna Fáil party spokesman as well as that, as well as all our local politicians. Now, what has happened, I suppose, we are claiming, and uh, we still reckon that as a result of our meeting in Thurlis Operation Tower came into being, Following on from this, Save Our Local Communities had a number of demands for government, including electronic monitoring, bail law reform, a clampdown on motoring offences, and collection of fines at source. None of these have been implemented to date. Criminals have all the rights and the victims have none. The government were able to rush through legislation there for zero tolerance on drink driving, but yet when it comes to criminals, they don't want to do anything. Like electronic monitoring, for example, that bill in 2015, sorry, 2016, it was put to the doll. It was supposed to have passed through the doll, and it's yet not enacted. And the same with reform of bail laws. Like, and a few simple things like that, and we put it to the minister, a few simple things like that would help the police and help the guards and what they're trying to do is combat crime. Like you read there on any, most of the bigger crimes, criminals have, we had figures for that had up to 200 previous convictions. Like any guy that has 200 previous convictions and still roaming around free, there's something wrong in that society. Robert noted that Save Our Local Community is currently researching and seeking help from national institutions. The group had previously gone to government, but had been told to research figures and needed backing from an authorised body. There's a number of smaller crimes. Like, <clears throat> what's actually happening around now is that a lot of smaller crimes aren't even being reported to the Gardaí. Like, I had a friend of mine there, uh, during the autumn there, during the fall sometime. This particular lady, she had two lawnmowers, hedge trimmers, an awful lot of garden stuff, and her Jeep emptied of diesel. And she didn't even feel it worthwhile right to, to report to the Gardaí because she said there was nothing going to happen. Like, and if you move out a bit further, like even just down the road here, I suppose, in Thurles, there in the last three weeks, 11,000 euros worth of a quad taken from a business premises. Even I noticed there the Garda figures lately were saying that crime levels are down. Possibly because people aren't just bothering to report it to them. When the last government was uh, going out of office, Alan Kelly uh, granted 54,000 euro in aid to Littleton, Burgess and Bird Hill. Now for CCTV cameras. Now the cameras, if you pass through Littleton, then you'll see the cameras up, but they're not actually active yet. Because there's no one to monitor them because of the GDPR. Uh, like, I mean, that's the complete joke. Like, I mean, it's, and we're told again that it needs legislation. Once again, the criminal is getting away because legislation hasn't been passed through the door.